Hello everybody and welcome to the uh, Dynamic Billiard Treviso Open here for the final between Scotland's Jason Shaw and Albania's Katsi Clinty. I'm Mark Gray and I'll be your commentator for this final. These two players um, seem to be going very deep in every tournament they play in these days, so it's no shock for me to see uh, Eagle Eye, Jason Shaw and uh, Katsky in the final of this Euro Tour, the first Euro Tour of the season. We started off with um, 211 entries, which is an amazing turnout. Players from all over Europe and the world. Jason obviously lives in America, chasing Moscone points, uh, World Cup of pool places. So there's quite a lot, quite big stakes on these tournaments these days. These two players are both uh, Moscone Cup regulars for the last few years and uh, will be for future years as well. Race to nine the final. Shot clock in operation. Caps has won the lag and will break off first rack. Both these players very good breakers normally. You don't expect to see many dry breaks. Right on cue, the one ball in the side pocket, the wing ball in the corner and a bonus ball as we like to say. And he has a shot on the two ball here. Katsky likes to get down, have a look at his shot, sort of play a rehearsal shot, get back up, weigh the situation up and then, then play his shot. Battle of the tattoos. Tattoos this final. <laughs> Jason and Katsky both like them. Swing the cue ball round to get on the five. This is the key shot of this rack. Both these players have very good fundamentals. Stay very still on the shot. Follow through. Good solid stance. So any of you budding young players out there, if you're looking at a role model, you certainly can't do wrong in looking at these two players. Just going to follow the cue ball through here with a little bit of running side off two cushions. Actually under hit it a fraction. reason I say that is because he's now a little bit playing this blind you always like to see the pocket he's not actually looking at the pocket now as much as I don't expect him to miss it nice shot straight in on the nine every pool player's dream start to a final is a break and run first rack one nil catchy and uh, Katschke actually won the Stella so uh, beat Dennis Grave in the final so Katschke is on a rich vein of form himself so it's pretty difficult to call a winner in this match. So eagle eye at the table, see how he's breaking. It's a it's legal. Made made one ball and two balls across the head string. The requirement is three points. Every ball your pot is worth a point and every ball that goes over the headstring or in the kitchen as we call it is worth a point. So you must make three points. Not as kind of split as a uh, Katsky. That 
it's not ideal. He's going to have to be kicking this one, possibly two row, to try and make the one in the corner. Very important part of the final, these early stages. You always want to stay in contention. You don't want to let your opponent get two, three, four racks in front. And what a shot maker Jason is. That's another great shot. Looks simple, but... Kicks it in with ease. Doesn't have any real great shot on the three ball here. The reason I say that is because the four is down table. So... Um, the three is very makeable, but it's um cue ball's not gonna be ideal. And he's gone all out attack there. Now needs some luck. Wow, and has had it. Quite an aggressive shot that was from Jay there. He didn't have to go for that. The way these young players of today play, they tend to attack the table. Catchy can only see a thin edge of this three. He's got to avoid the double kiss. Go try and swing the cue ball around the table, but the double kiss is very much on. limited with what he can do here kicking at it now and that's no good so Jason can count himself very lucky there to miss that three ball and uh, leave Katsuki in a very difficult situation which has now created this chance Played in as many as a lot of us with living in America now for a good while. Katsuki is obviously a seasoned player, won many Euro tours. Nicely on the five, play for the six in the same pocket. Making sure he leaves good shape to get the cue ball back up for the eight, like so. And now every player has different options and choices of playing this. You could play this one cushion or you could play these two cushions to get up for the eight. Jason decides to play the two cushion railway, which I would do as well. And again, he'll be putting the eight and then the nine in the same pocket. So he had a nice little bit of ball run there, but uh, he's taken full advantage of it to tie this final up at one rack each. I was, I was the second best place Brit, 33rd. Shows how tough the standard is this day, in this day and age. So catch to break here, rack three. First glance looks good. Again, three balls pocketed. He is playing six ball here, ladies and gentlemen, not nine ball. Great break. Has a shot on the three. There's Chris Mellon, just made it into the World Pool Masters, got the fans vote. So congratulations to Chris. So he has, a, he has a shot on the three here, but as you can see, the four has the nine and the six and the five in its vicinity. So, so positional shot is key here. As long as he can see the four to pot after this shot, you'd fancy him to run out. But this isn't as easy as it looks. G 
just about okay. He would have, ideal world, he would have liked that cue ball to run on another four to six inches, but this is very makeable. Just looking which pocket he prefers to play this in. He's playing this thing cut, I don't like this shot. Yep, it's never the shot. Should have been playing it in the other pocket and I think he's left a 4-9 combo. Strange shot selection. I don't know why he's not played it into the pocket that Jason's going to make the 9 now. Kubel. What's he done there? Wow, a few mistakes. So Katsuki thought he'd give the rack away, and now Jason's. Jason's turn to make a mistake. All about getting on the six correct here to have the right angle to go up for the seven. We'll probably play for the six in the side pocket. Using two rails. Jason will be very disappointed there because that was an elementary combo and um, to scratch the cue ball in off here, be very disappointed. Just a lack of concentration. He's lost the cue ball a little bit. Definitely some tension in the arms of these two players. As well as the prize money, which is 4,500 to the winner and 3,000 runner-up. They're playing for Moscone points. And he sinks the nine ball to take a 2-1 lead. Dry break from Jason. Every player's worst nightmare. As me and Imran were saying earlier in the semi final commentary box, um, usually players are racking their own balls up. So, um, as good as the referees are, they sometimes don't get all nine balls touching or as tight as possible like a player would. And uh, that can sometimes have an effect. But obviously, we do hit them wrong as well. <laughs> He's lost the cue ball there, Katsuki. The only way he's going to keep this um, effort going is if he plays a bank on the two. Got lucky, played the bank. Got the perfect angle here from the four to the five, key to the rack.
Got to be careful he doesn't cover himself on the six with a seven. Perfectly played. Just pop the six, two rounds for the seven in the same pocket. Just to start catch key wanted here against Jason Shaw in the final. Taking full advantage of Jason's dry break. There we have it, three racks to one, Katsuki. Makes two balls, but the table is very messy this time. Six and the nine ball have paired up, and he doesn't have no shot on the two ball. So his options here either play safe or a push out. It's exactly what Jason was hoping to see that Katsuki uh, has no shot. Played to cross bank with an element of safety and he's got the cover behind the seven. So Which when you get two evenly matched players could be the difference of winning or losing. Oh, Jason's come out with another great kick shot. I've lost count how many times I've seen him play a jump shot or kick balls in this week. Obviously he's nicely on the four but he needs to get on the five in such a way that he can develop the six and the nine that are paired up on the cushion. Yep, he's got an angle. The only trouble is if he tries to split them, if he hits a six in such a way he could scratch. And that's what he's looking at now. And he's just looking to see if he could leave maybe a cross double on the six. Big rack in the match early on. Difference of three, two or four, one. He's played the split and he's played it absolutely plump. This is going to hurt Catch. He's left the table. Jason was hooked. Jason's come to the table. Played a one cushion kick, makes the two. Makes a split on the five to develop the six and the nine. And he's going to run the rack here to reduce his deficit to two racks to three. And it's back on serve because it'll be Jason's break. It's 
to just this nine, and then it's three, two. Very good clearance there from Jason Shaw. Gets him right back in this final. So six rack, Jason Shaw to break. Better break this time. Three balls down, perfectly on the three ball. Part the cue ball in the middle of the table. That's exactly how you want to break. Draw the cue, we'll back off one cushion for the five. We'll be playing the five and the seven in the same pocket. Both these players look so cool, calm and relaxed around the table. Both have that aura of invincibility about them. And the mini crisis, little mini crisis of 1 3 down. He's now back to 3 3. Perfectly on the ninth. Very good break and run there from Jason. Didn't hit that so well that time, but he's made two balls and he has a shot on the two. Also, the good news for him is the three is down this bottom side of the table as well, so he could probably top this two in. Or he could even screw the cue ball back into the middle of the table. He has two options here to get on the three, just using his timeout extension, sorry. Personal preference this shot. Wow, what a miss that is. Very unexpected miss that. This gives Jason a great chance of 4 3. is very disappointed there. Just pop this three, leave the four long. And that's music to Jason's ears when he's seen him miss balls like that. Leaves the two cushion. Positional shot from five to six. He'd like to get as straight as he can on the six so he can just stop the white dead to leave the eight in the opposite corner pocket. And that looks just about perfect. And then really it doesn't matter where you're on the eight because you can play for corner pockets, middle pockets. Taking full advantage of Katsuki's missed on the two ball. Yeah, he's played for it in the side. So this nine ball for a 4 3 lead. And there we have it.
makes the ball but no shot on the one don't think he can see enough of it to play the bank so it looks like safety is going to be the order of the day here could get the cue ball in behind the four That's where he's just pointing the tip of his cue there could use the two, the four, the nine as blockers here splitting the there we go as long as he hasn't found the gap Needs this one ball to stop, and I don't think it has. Looks very makeable. Katsuki's still very disappointed in his own mind that he missed that two ball last rack. When you're playing someone like Jason, you need to be playing no miss pull. Didn't want a cannon the uh, seven there. Just having a look to see if the long two down the cushion goes. Very tough shot. Key part of the match here. Played safe, didn't mean the two to hit the nine. May have left a shot. Not easy, but. pot a lot more difficult pot that two than the two that he missed earlier that cue ball's just kept rolling again two cushions for position on the six just come up a little bit short for perfection Again, it's one of them blind pocket shots, can always be missed. Cued it in with a lot of draw on side. It's keeping shape for the seven ball. Just checking if it's touching the uh, cushion. Just they are slightly more tougher to pot if they are t touching the cushion than just off. Didn't pot it clean, but it's in four racks each.
because the two just pulled up enough so you can see the one ball it's very tight from here obviously tight might have to play it with a little bit of English yeah you can see the way the cue ball was spinning there he's just spun that in had to take his medicine and leave a longer two ball but where he is that's nice because if he leaves the cue ball anywhere where the blue two is he's gonna have a shot at the three So straight away this rack is all about the 5 to the 7 ball because the 7 will only go in one pocket. Just stun this 3 in so the cue ball comes over to leave the 4 in the side pocket. And then he's pretty much going to try and leave the cue ball where the pink 4 is so he can pop the 5 and swing the cue ball around 2, maybe 3 three cushions to get on the seven. Doesn't want to be straight and that looks good. So now on this shot I'd be using at least two bottom cushion, side cushion, maybe another side cushion. This is where being tall helps you out. under it it slightly but he knows any cannon on the 8 is only going to nudge it towards the corner pocket so just focus on the 7 here position on the 8 becomes automatic there you go the little nudge on the 8 sends it to the pocket nice angle to go down for the 9 and a break and run just at the right time for Albanian number one, Kachki. There we go, nine goes in the heart of the pocket and Katsuki takes a 5-4 lead. Very important part of the match this, Jason Shaw trailing 4-5, needs a good break. Dry. Didn't hit that so well, he nearly scratched in the side pocket. Made a ball, but he didn't make the three point rule. He's nudged the seven, but he's just got there. And <laughs> Jason has a little look to the crowd. The result is what Katsuki was playing, but he wasn't. He wanted to hit the two slightly thinner. He can count himself lucky that he's uh, got a full ball snooker on that two. Jason's going to play a one cushion kick. Wow. I think he's actually played, he's worked that out.
Very lucky there, Jason. He's missed that. That should never drop. A little bit of tension in his arm, I think. No mistake with the four, though. Heart of the pocket, perfectly on the five. Just pop the five, draw the cue ball at the table about a foot, leave an angle on the six. have it. Five racks each. Perfect. This looks very nice. Two balls down, shot on the two, three in the open. Music to his ears. that no, he thinks he might have had a heavy contact there which could explain why the two wobbled in usually when you hit that near knuckle they don't drop in so he's a little bit lucky So hard. Look of disgust on his face there. This is a bit of a stretch. He's a tall lad, but this is a bit of a stretch. Looks a little bit uncomfortable here. It's a bit of a stretch, this. It's got second best. Jason, very good with the jump stick. He may well play the 4 8 combo. Yep, he's looking at it. Big moment in the match. He knows Cash has just missed a great chance to go 6 5 up. How he'd love to make this one. Wow, wow, wow. Not perfect, but probably got a bank on. He'll be going for it. The five sitting waiting if this four goes in.
played with lots of side to bring the cue ball back into the middle of the table. Nice easy nine for a 6-5 lead. Takes the lead for the first time in this match. Sorry, second time. So it's the 12th rack here, and it's Jason to break. He would like to get two racks clear for the first time in this final. Oh, he's, well, he's not hitting well. Disaster, really. Just when he wanted to cement his breaker serve with a breaker run of his own, he's not hit him as well as he normally does. And this is exactly what Katsuki wants. To get that mistake erased from his brain as quickly as possible. And if he can win this rack, he will forget about that mistake in the last rack. This is probably the toughest shot of the run out really, two to three. Then everything is uh, dink, dink, dink. Played it with a lot of top and run inside. Not perfect, but it's not bad. With the five hanging over the side pocket, he doesn't have to be too precise with the four. As always, must make sure of the pot. Yeah, let's cue that in nicely. Wasn't the cleanest pot, but got the job done. The way this match is going, it just has the feel of a hill hill all about all the way. Nicely cued. Wants to be straight, really. If he's straight on here, he can draw the cue ball straight back to somewhere where it is now for the six. Like so. This is how much pool players love the run outs when all the balls is at the same end of the table. You don't have to do too much with the cue ball. Six each as he smashes the nine ball in at pace. is looking nice. Seven's blocking the two, which could cause a little bit of a problem, and the five is blocking the four. Which looking at the shape he has on the one here, he's gonna have to play for the two seven combo. Would have liked to have drawn that cue ball back a few more inches. Okay. 
Just getting his extension out, just to add a bit of extra length here, a bit of a, a, bit of a stretch on here. This certainly can go wrong. Doesn't want both balls going in. Has a shot on the three, but it's not as played. He was hoping the two would stay over the pocket, pop the two and go down table for position on the three. There's three pots and he could cannon into the four or he could play for a four five combo, depending how he feels. Or he might play safe or a bank. Leaving Jason a jump shot, although the nine could be in the way. Clever shot Katsuki played there, because if he made the bank on the three, he had a long four straight in. And he knew full well that he was getting cover if he didn't make the three. And this isn't an easy situation for Jason here. Needs luck and has had it. Don't know whether Katsuki can snooker him again here. Actually, he's got no extension left this rack, so he's playing the one cushion kick, stop the white where the three is. Good shot. Jason will be jumping. I don't know, I've seen him miss a jump shot all week. Pretty perfect. He certainly loves a jump cue, does Jason Shaw. What a great shot that was. Deserved a little bit of the run of the ball to finish on the four ball. Certainly didn't mean the cue ball to go so close to the side pocket, but it stayed on the table. Sinks the nine, and Jason Shaw takes a 7 6 lead. Lost the cue ball, but it's finished pretty good. A 
looking to go two in front with three to play. Be a good time to get a, a two frame buffer, two rack buffer for the first time in the match. Shot, but he would have been cannoning into the 309, so that's why he took it in the corner and screwed the cue ball around three cushions for the three in the same pocket. The only slight concern is where the six is. He will have the six eight combo if he chooses. Screwed up back a fraction more than he wanted. He's obviously going to be playing the 6 8 combo once he's potted this 5. Oh my word. He's got too much side on the cue ball there, Jason. He's scratched in the side pocket. Amazing what can happen at this game. Not the cleanest of pots, but that won't bother Katsky. It's 7-7. Seven, seven. Best of three for the title. Taking his time as always. Big break. Who's going to get on the hill first? Katsky hoping it's in with a B&R. Break and run. Looks nice. If the six pots, this is a brilliant chance. Looks like the six passes the eight. Straightforward one. Play that with a lot of side to bring the cue ball back into the middle of the table for the three ball. Play this a couple of ways.
swung it around the angles for the four in the corner. Very good shot. Probably going to screw this back for the five in the side, like so. He wants to be off straight though. Ideally, he'd like to get straight on the six, but I'm not sure he can. Just forced an angle, that's all right because he can pop the seven in the side or the corner. Fikatsky puts him into the lead at eight seven. Sixteenth rack, Jason Shaw to break. It needs to be a good one. Dry. Cursed. Yeah, only the two ball went over the head string, the four didn't. Katsuki's put Jason back in. Quite interesting choices. Some of the Jasons potting a prowess. I'm surprised Katsuki's put him in here. Yes, it's not an easy pot, but.
it's worked not left anything Just going to play the safety. <coughs> Big wall of balls there as cover. Takes the initiative. And potentially the last rack of the match. No jump shot options here, so it's going to be a one two cushion kick escape. Could be looking at a 1 6 carom here. Has no extension available, so he's going to have to be quick about his work here. Playing for the two in the middle. Played it pretty well. Played the snooker. Very surprised he didn't try and get out of there. He may not have a better chance. Jason's got safe. left the pot on
good stroke on the two, but the three's not straightforward here. Tough four ball. It's going to probably play it dead weight. How's that for a shot? We have a hill hill, ladies and gentlemen, and our first Euro Tour of the year. And a very good out there from Jace. So the final wreck of this year's Italian Euro Tour, and how Katschke would live it to finish with a break and run. Jason's just praying either for a dry break or the cue ball to get kicked in off. nearly dry if it weren't for that f <laughs> oh. he's not perfect got a shot on the two but the three's at the other end of the table doesn't have the correct angle and he's hampered bridging Very tough shot, Catch is attempting here. He's unlucky. Very good pot. Certainly can't see the three to pot. He's snookered. And this is a chance for Jason to take the title.
And congratulations to Jason Shaw on winning his first Euro Tour. Winning nine, frame, nine racks to eight V-Katsky.